What's going on everybody? This is Brian Mazik, aka Franchise Play. Gotta tell you about this new app called RotoQL. RotoQL works for users for DraftKings as well as FanDuel, and it does two things primarily. It saves time when you're picking lineups. The second thing that it does is obviously what? It helps you win more. RotoQL is designed to give you the same types of tools that the pros, that the hardcore daily fantasy sports players use to get success. You can get in on RotoQL with a free day, three day free trial by going to the link right here at the bottom of the screen. RotoQL.com backslash YouTube. Also, take a look in the description. You need to just click on it as well as some additional information. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. It's time for Dante Withenshaw's double A debut, and he is with the Binghamton Rumble Ponies. Manager Rhodes, what's going on? Pep talk, we all love that because it activates a two time multiplier. And this is history Dante's first at bat, first double A at bat, and he's got the money bat, the green and gold money bat. And it's going to take place from the left side of the uh, plate against a right-hander. And he only saw one pitch. Dante, you got to be more patient, bro. Got to be more patient. He takes the first pitch he sees and grounds out to second base. You don't want that. All right, second at bat, after a ground out, uh, he comes up. Look, He's looking more patient. He has a more patient look on his face. And his team is losing two to nothing. Here in the top of the fifth inning with two outs, the first pitch, Takes it. There you go. Learn from your mistakes, Mr. Whippenshaw. Takes the first pitch. It's a 1 0 count. The second pitch inside. That's a ball. It is a ball. Dante already. See, I told you he has some really good, uh, some potential as a hitter. This second pitch out in front of it a little bit fouls it off. 2 to 1. 2 1 count. 2 1 count. You got to do something for your team here, Dante. Dante, he did. You know, this guy's shutting him down. Oh, another one. Had a good pitch to hit. Just couldn't quite square it up. Fouls it off. 2-2 two, two count. Oh, and yeah, well. <sighs> That's not going to work out. Dante's third at bat. His, his debut is so fun. Not being so good. Not so good. First pitch here. Swing and a miss. Maybe he's struggling from the left side of the plate. Maybe that's what it is. It's all three of his at bats so far have been from the left side. Even his, you know, I don't know. Wait a minute, Dante Withenshaw. First double A base hit comes in his third at bat and we get the two time multiplier. That's it. Yeah, give me the ball. Give me the ball. Give Dante the biz all. You know this is big. Inner portion. Got, finally got the barrel of the bat around and wax it just beyond the reach of the second baseman for a base hit. But Binghamton loses. I told you, we got to be honest, man. We don't care about Binghamton's win-loss record. Dante doesn't care. Dante don't care. Dante wants to get to the show. That's what Dante's trying to do. And now he's working on other aspects of his game. Pumping up the contact because swinging and missing a little bit too much. That happened even in the top showcase. So we got to get that. But one of the first things we want to focus on, look at the speed. Dante has exceptional speed for a guy his size. And that's going to be the primary focus. So he's doing wind sprints. You understand? He's drinking turmeric tea. He's drinking matcha tea. Stuff that burns the gut. Burn the, the, the fatty acids from around your stomach. Dante's on that stuff. That's what he's trying to do. Uh, just don't get, you know, have no kind of, don't get, don't use no banned supplements though, Dante. Don't use no banned supplements. Game two of this series is raining outside and little fellas are still running back and forth. You better hope you don't slip and fall or something like that. But Dante coming up first at bat, he's hitting 333, one for three in his first, first game. Can't, you know, can't hate on that. Can't hate on that. If he can be patient, coming up here in a nice spot. Top of the second inning, runners on first and second, two outs, Dante. Oh, first pitch swing and hit it good in the center field, but it's going to get run down. He squared that up nice, though. Dante's seeing the ball. He's seeing the ball pretty well. 
that that wasn't what you want, but he's, he's seeing it pretty well. All right, the fly out in his first at bat. Here he comes in his second bat in the second game. And this is a second at bat from the right side of the plate against a lefty here. Oh, yeah. Well, Dante. Yeah, that was a pretty good hit to, pitch to hit there. All right. Now, Dante. Oh, foul. Down the left field line. Now, Dante has to. Dante got to focus. You know what I'm saying? He really got to focus. And um, he, you know what's on his mind right now? You really can't tell because he just took a bad swing there and he pops out to the third baseman. Uh, is a lot of people love Tupac, right? A lot of people love Tupac. Dante comes back up for his next at bat in this game. And, I, I, you know, Dante likes Tupac, but not maybe as much as a lot of other people. But there is one particular song of Tupac's that he loves. And it's not even Tupac's song. Actually, Tupac's in it, but it's not his song. It's actually MC Breed's song, and it's called Gotta Get Mine. And that's his mindset. I gotta get mine. You gotta get yours. I gotta get mine. You gotta get yours. That's what, the, he, if he could have a Beats by Dre in the left ear flap of his helmet right now, he'd be, that's what, that's what would be playing. It would, it would be beating in his ear right now. I'm not, he's not getting his yet, though, because he's one for two. I mean, it's in a one, two, he's in a one, two count right now with run on first base, and he just, <sighs> not squaring it up. He's not squaring, he's not squaring it up. He's really not. All right. One, two pitch. High fastball. Oh, that one's got some slice. I thought that might go into the gap. But right now, I think he's just struggling from some bad luck because he's hitting the ball pretty well, just not getting any luck. And Binghamton gets shut out in that game. Even, you know, they had seven hits. They get shut out. So now Dante's in a little bit of a bad way because I think he's won for his first seven. Uh, that's not a good. Uh, no, that, you don't know. That's not good. That ain't good at all. All right, so third game of the series against the New Hampshire Fisher Cats, just in case you were wondering wh who they were playing. And it's been raining a lot. I don't know what's going on. Farmers are happy. Well, they, ain't, they don't want too much rain. All right, in the field, we talked to you about Dante's glove, right? We talked to you about his glove. And he, he wants you to know that the glove is still in. It's still there. Oh, look at the shoestring catch by Mr. Whiffin Shaw. You know, I mean, look at this. Just running it down. Look at the, he took a good route to the ball. He took a decent route to the ball. Maybe he could have took a better one, but oh, look at the catch. You can't get much better than that. Dante's glove is, that's the best part of his game right now. But you wait until that bat catches up. You gotta get yours. Keep my mind on my money, money on my mind. Finger on the trigger, hand on my nine. That ain't it, though. You're making Pac look bad. If that's what you're listening to right now, Dante, you you really, you're making him look bad. You're making him look bad. It's an 0-2 count. All right, good you didn't go for that. 1-2. The, the beard on this fella is, um, I don't know. He's Dallas Keiko would not be happy with you in your beard. He wouldn't. He, he wouldn't. He wouldn't like it at all. Fouls it off. One, two count. Run. It's a runner in scoring position in a 0-0 zero, zero tie, Dante. This is a time you want to come through, and that ain't how you do it. Struck out looking. Oh, my God. That ain't going to look. That's an old PM Don at bat. You need a Tupac at bat. That was a PM. That was a set of drift of memory bliss at bat. You got you to gotta come You gotta come harder than that. What was the dude's name? I forget the PM Don rapper's name. Like, can I just want to attack them or something one day? I forget his name, though. Oh, swing and he missed. Top of the fourth inning. 1-1 one, one count. Come on, Dante. In a minute, people are going to be saying we need to switch this view, Dante. Oh, the pitch out. Nothing's happening. Because they're going to be like, you were hitting, swinging, you were getting better at bats in the other view. Dante, don't, don't, put, don't, put, us through, don't put us through that pressure. Fouls it off. Now he's really not making good contact, though. The last game he was, this game doesn't seem like he's hitting it. Oh, good eye. 3-2 count. We can take a walk because you haven't taken a walk yet. So that is a, a very important part of, part, of the, uh, part of the game at the plate. Oh, struck out looking twice. Come on, bro. 
Dante 0 for 2 with two strikeouts. Here he comes in the top of the seventh inning. Struggling mightily, baby. Oh, and that's a pop-up. He didn't hit that as good as it seems. That was way too high. And that's a can of corn. That's an easy. They gave him solid contact, but I don't know. Fourth at bat of this game, two to nothing. He is the go-ahead run right now. He's the go-ahead run. Low. This is the last realistic chance that you have to do anything here, Dante. At least for this game. Oh, just swung straight through it. Swung straight through it. What you got? Ball outside. His, his selectiveness at the plate is getting much better. 3-1 count. Yeah, now, now this young fella here on the mound is struggling to find the plate. And Dante will take a walk. That sometimes is what you need to ignite you, is to take a walk. And he takes it. Good eye, Dante. First walk as a double-A hitter. All of a sudden, he's all the way on third. This game is tied. That is a ground ball down the first baseline. And he's out, but the game is tied at two. What goes on? Dante up in extra innings, top of the 11th inning. Nobody on, nobody out, leading it off. He's back hitting from the left side. Oh, now that one, he just got under, but he got it. I like his, I like Dante's swings better from the left side of the plate than I do from the right side. But this one's still going on, and he's still, he's back on the left side again. Top of the 13th inning. Can Dante kicks? Oh, yeah, well, yeah, he shouldn't have swung at that one. Shouldn't have swung at that one, Dante. D-dub. He stands really far off the plate, too. He is the... Oh, now that one's lit good. That's lit good. That's lit up good, baby. Oh, but it was caught. He's hitting it, though. All right, right to the warning track. Took him deep. I, I can't say he's not getting good swings, but he's not... He's looking bad today. I mean, he's like, oh, forever right now. Top of the 15th inning, two on, two, nobody on two outs. But it's not just Dante getting shut down by this New Hampshire team's uh, uh, pitching staff. I mean, Binghamton only has two rounds, and we're in the 15th inning. He's getting under the ball way too much, though. You see how I mean? Pop flies and flyouts, like just harmless flyouts he's hitting. It's getting under the ball. Getting under the ball, and that ain't going to work out. And you knew it was going to happen. New Hampshire ultimately ends up winning. They get a run in the bottom of the 16th, and they beat Binghamton 3-2. to two, And, um... Hey, it is what it is. But Dante's doing the best he can. Y'all keep watching. God bless.